So it wasn't really fair that the monochrome LED OLED got all of the highlight in the last video. So here's just some quick code I did to test the color OLED option. This is actually some sample code that came with the OLED eval kit from Univision and one of the OLED displays that I have for a project at the office. Um, so this is a 160 by 128 color OLED. This is available for OSD displays in Florida. You can see it's mounted a little odd on this board. I'll fix that for the production board so it doesn't have to fold over on itself. Um, once again, you can see the display here. This is, it uses a 35 pin half mil pitch connector. And again, there's the speaker and the processor. There's the XQC memory chip for those that are interested in that option. Quite a little loud on the autofocus there. And the JTAG header, of course, back to the JTAG ICE programmer. Oh. Still on the macro lens here, so it gets, I get lost in this way. Um, I'm using the program space here to store all the fonts and image data, of course. And this code predates me getting that to work. I just ported some ancient code I had to this new processor. So fonts and graphics aren't actually working on here. But it shows what it looks like to write data to display. I think, once again, timers aren't working, so there's no delays in here like there should be. You can see the painting the whole sc screen white and black, and a checkerboard pattern, and color bar rainbows, and some rectangles. And you can see where it tries to draw a, fo draw a font in a picture. In the picture there, you can see it just the random splotch of pixels there at the top is just reading some something out of memory of some program space. Anyway, I, there's very few things left to test on this board. I just have to fit the lithium charge circuit on there and I think we can call it done which is good there's only a few more days left to order these boards before I have to order the circuit boards for the class in February so I hope to see everyone with a February Seattle Robotics meeting in Renton hope everyone gets a cool board built up out of it thanks bye